So, when we have exhausted our potential for just recognizing the integral, the next step that we want to consider in this class is using tables. One possibility is in the front of your book. Other possibilities include the front or back of any calculus textbook. And you can always go and look online to find a great big table of all sorts of integrals. However, as you might remember, when you're using a table, you have to get your integral into a standard form. And the main methods that we use for doing that are, let's see here, U substitution, completing the square, using trig identities, eliminating square roots, Reducing an improper fraction. Separating fractions. And, last but certainly not least, multiplying by fancy forms of 1. So, 